For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Shoes as always. Got an explosive series of offensive plays for you guys today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a new offense that might be my favorite offense in the game out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. The New Orleans Saints playbook it might be my favorite ebook that I put out. It might be the, my favorite offense that I'm using right now. It's between them and the Ravens. And they're not even the bigger playbooks. The bigger playbooks are the Niners and the Raiders, out of all the four that I put out. Those are the two bigger ones, but I just love some of the schemes that I'm finding in the Saints. The more I use this, the more explosive I'm finding out that this offense is. Other than that, the formation is the wing flex. This particular formation here has a great series of run plays. Uh, I think I might like that as much as the pass plays, but the pass plays I'm gonna show you guys um, especially the two on this page are some of the glitchiest pass plays in the game. The PAY cross especially is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game and that's going to be the uh, the play that we start off with. There's really only two pass plays I'm going to show today. It's going to be that and the mesh spot. But let's go ahead and start off with the PA cross because like I said this play here is super glitchy. We're going to start off picking Tampa 2 and we're going to work our way back. Now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use this discount code money to get 3% off it's always the cheapest coins on the market one of the best things about this play is there's not a lot of setup you just have to put the a route on a five yard out that's it that's all you got to do everything else is already set up you can block your running back if you want to although i like to leave him there as a check down i want to slide my protection because these check and releases a lot of times kind of mess everything up but you're going to see right here i mean this guy here once he gets inside of the safety he's pretty much just gone for an easy one play touchdown like you can see right there i kind of got my shoestrings caught up don't do that one more time like i said we're keeping tyron lit up just to show you guys that it don't matter. And we're going right over the top. Like I said, he's best safety in the game, lit up. You know, he's going to keep up a little bit better than most. Now, the out route's probably most important when it comes to cover three, but you could also put him on a delay fade. The delay fade, I find, works even better. Just as long as that A route doesn't get out of his break too early, you're going to see you get much bigger separation with the delay fade. So the five yard out route is one variation. The delay fade is another. That's also going to be the variation that works against cover two man. So it's pretty much the same idea, but we'll pick cover two man. When it comes to running this play and running the delay fade, you want your slowest guy running that. I don't want Andrews running that because he's kind of fast. He'll get up the field too quick and he'll essentially, um, you know, basically get to the point where, where that uh, that safety is getting pulled back. I want him to basically play down. So the slower, the better. The delay fade stays home just for a second. And then you can see once he starts getting up the field, I'm already past it with, uh, with uh, you know, with Brown. Now that was actually, like I said, that was that was the type of reaction that I didn't want. In the substitutions, I'd rather switch Nick Boyle and Andrews out. But you can run it like this too, where essentially you just basically let Boyle, um, you know, slow that safety down. Because that's what's keeping that safety down, is that delayed fade. That delayed reaction is what's keeping that safety down and letting Brown get over the top of it. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. You can either use your, just put your slower one on the delay fade out here, which obviously starts further back, so it's gonna help also. Or you could just have your slower tight end or just, you know, fullback or something in at this spot and delay fade him. It really doesn't matter. I find, though, this might be a better setup based off the fact that he you can see just the safety's playing down way too low based off the fact that he only sees that safety on his side of the, or that uh, tight end on his side of the field. And then Brown just gets right past him. So I'm going to do that one more time. Like I said, I'll slide my protection, let that slow tight end be the bait. And like I said, boom, we're just getting a huge one play touchdown right over the top very easily against pretty much any defense in the game. So now we'll do that against cover three because this is the one that's probably, you know, giving people most issues right now is cover three. And this is the same way, the delay fade or the five yard out. It's really up to you. I'll go with the delay fade. Like I said, that'll hold that cornerback down. 
And then, for whatever reason, that cornerback never flips his hip, and you can see he gets right past him. So, once again, you can do it both ways. I'll show it with the five yard out. I said the five yard out works also because the five yard out really is just meant to pull that cornerback ac across. And then, obviously, I'm going to roll in the direction of the throw. And if you got a fast enough wide out, he gets behind it as well, once again. So, it's really up to you delay fade or five yard out. Now, obviously, against man cover one or man zero, I don't really have to do anything. Like the A route here, he just totally whiffed. Like, that's a really good, uh, you know, man coverage route i don't want to get rid of that and then you can see obviously you know the b route here is just going to be as long as i get a good enough pass lead away from the safety i mean that's going to be very easy when I play touchdown i guess cover one same thing with man zero i mean any all-out man blitz i'm gonna have the same success i just have to basically make enough blocking uh by blocking the running back maybe blocking the rb route if it's a man zero i don't want to get rid of the a route or the b route because they're gonna be the big plays but there's a lot of different things you can do against man coverages against cover four quarters it doesn't need any adjustments either I'm just going to win the day, just as long as this B right here doesn't get jammed up too much. As you can see, he just gets behind the uh, the safety. Although there, the pressure is the biggest issue. Like I said, once again, I can take away my, my check and release. Just to give myself a little additional blocking because the B route here is just going to, uh, you know, that's that's the only route. So, you know, very easy one play touchdown against cover four with no adjustments. And then we pretty much hit up every single defense other than regular cover four. So we'll go and do that. Regular cover four drop contain. We'll do that five yard out route adjustment one more time. Like I said, that's just gonna keep these uh, corners and safeties down nice and low. And then we're just gonna bomb it up over the top. As you can see right there, the safety's just out of position. Lit up, doesn't matter. So that's every single defense in the game, but it gets even glitchier as this play also has a one play touchdown against prevent defenses. So let's go ahead and let's pick that play one more time. Then on the defensive side, we're gonna start off with prevent man three deep which to me is probably the preferred one that's the one that i typically use so let's go and let's pick that so we're gonna do this the exact same way it works the exact same way whether you delay fade or put this guy on an out route it doesn't matter you're gonna get the exact same result just as long as you get a good enough release from this uh, receiver like i said it's not a huge window but you can see you get a one play touchdown do it one more time with the delay fade option as well i got a lineman in there just to slow him down as much as possible uh, but ultimately, I mean, it doesn't really, you know, we get a tight window throw here, but you're beating a prevent defense. So you can't expect it to glitch it out much more than that. So the throw is probably the most important part. I am bullet and pass leading up and away from the free safety when I make this throw. As you can see, I mean, he has a step. You know, I mean, he already has a step. That's the bottom line. But it's it's really a tight window throw to bullet and pass lead to this spot. And like I said, you're going to need a definite speed advantage as well. Now, that play is glitchy enough, but there's also a really glitchy one play touchdown against cover three that I want to show, and that's the mesh spot. This play here, obviously, a double drag is going to be good against man coverage, but this is a very glitchy post patch cover three one play touchdown. So let's go and let's pick cover three. We're going to use that exact same delay fade principle. We're just going to motion out this running back and put the RB route on a delay fade once again. Now, watch what happens to that running back, especially if I run to the open side of the field like I am now. The uh, the cornerback just bails on him. He completely forgets that he's out there. Let's go to the replay there. I actually showed this in a verticals, a gun bunch verticals play not too long ago, where essentially this cornerback will essentially forget that he's supposed to cover this outside spot here. And you can see, I mean, he just bails. He just bails from his assignment. It's just something that, you know, this new delay fade is just super glitchy. So you can see right here, once he leaves, all I got to do is bullet and pass lead inside because the sideline became a bigger issue. I find this plays even better if you streak the B route. Because sometimes, for whatever reason, uh, the cornerback doesn't react to the Y route. But if you streak that B route, it's a guaranteed reaction. You can see right there. We're just basically waiting for that cornerback to bail. And we're just bombing it over over top to the running back. Like I said, the biggest issue is pass pro. Pass pro is the biggest issue, but I mean it's a super glitchy one play touchdown. So what are you gonna do? But you're just watching this uh, this cornerback, and I like to roll in the direction of the throw. I really think that that helps. Like I said pass lead inbounds, so that you're not running out of bounds um, when you catch the ball. But ultimately a very easy play. That also works against cover two. So we're going to pick Tampa two. It's gonna work the exact same way. I'm going to put my B route on a streak. So I'm just going to roll out. And that Y route is, you know, I don't have to wait for the cornerback to react or anything like that because the Y route just gets out open outside. So the four plays that would be in my audibles would definitely be the motion O and trap. That one might be my favorite. The halfback stretch, that one might be my favorite too. The halfback zone week might be my favorite too. Those are the three best plays without a doubt. I think the fourth play, I'm going to show you guys one pass play. I'll save two passing plays for the next video. The PAY drag wheel will be the one pass play that I show at the end of this vid. 
Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's always the cheapest coins on the market. Now, when it comes to the 01 trap, the only real issue that I have with the 01 trap is that this guy motions across. I mean, that's a little bit of a tell. But ultimately, 01 traps are just great run plays, especially when it comes to, like, cover twos. You can see here, the, the safeties are playing so far back. They immediately drop back after the play, and if they're not there for run support, you can see how, I mean, I'm getting to the next level. The blocking here is amazing when it comes to 01 trap plays. I'm getting to that next level untouched, and, I mean, there's just huge run lanes. And that's something you're going to have to remember. Like I said, any cover two, man or zone, those safeties are going to play back, and it's going to give you golden opportunities to just run these play right up the middle just rip off big runs. Now, another play that's really good against cover two zones is the halfback zone weak. This is going to be very similar. You're going to get this look. Anytime you see that this, uh, you have kind of wide spacing like this, like that defensive end, he's just out a little bit far the left tackle. That's a benefit to me. Anytime that defensive end is out just a little bit wide, of the left tackle he's pretty much going to take himself out of the play so if you watch him a lot of times he'll just get bowled out of the play i mean it's still you know it's not as big of a play as the 0-1 trap but i do feel like the, the weak is a little bit more uh versatile because you can flip the weak although i accidentally picked the stretch you could flip the week if you want to go say you see an opportunity on the other side you can treat it kind of like uh, an inside like a slam or like a you know like a halfback dive because you can get that look right up the middle here like i have an opportunity where i could flip this and try to take it right over the center so there's definitely more opportunity you can see the run lanes aren't as big the run lanes for this particular play for the 0-1 trap are much bigger and you really just have way more opportunities you can see. I mean, there's just nothing out here. If I can make a, a safety miss, I could be gone. I mean, this is an explosive play. There are some benefits when it comes to the zone weak, though, you don't get from the 0-1 trap. You can't make any motions. You can't make any adjustments. I can't flip the play. Like, I can flip the play here if I think I have a better opportunity up the, up the lane. If I want to bring across a blocker, I can't do that with the motion 0-1 trap, although he does that automatically. But here I have a little bit more control. Like, say I want to, you know, motion across a receiver or something like that. There's only so many things you can do is the motion 0-1 trap has it all built into the play you could also quick hike a guy with the zone weak you can't do that with the motion on one trap because he takes so long to get across the formation so that's another downside um, but like i said to me there's no real comparing the benefit of this play it's just that much more explosive it's that much more consistent and it's definitely the best inside run now, as far as the stretch goes, you could run the stretch against just about any defense. The only real defense that would give the stretch problems would be cover two because the cornerbacks play down. That would kind of cut off your lanes. So those first two plays would be better. But you can do any number of things with this. You could flip it. I would say against cover three zone or cover four, I want to flip it and run it behind the receivers. That's typically going to be my preference. As you can see, the cornerbacks drop back, and they just give you a lot of space outside. A lot of people like to run it behind the tight ends, though. To me, if it's a, if it's a cover three, I'm just flipping it and running it behind the receivers because, number one, they block pretty good, but the cornerbacks play back, and, you know, it just to me, that's guaranteed space. You also have the ability to flip the play and motion across one of these tight ends. You can see right here, it doesn't really change the defensive alignment too much. This kind of evens it out, looks the same as the motion 0-1 trap, and now you have an opportunity to basically just get wide and you have an additional blocker to help you get to the area where you're trying to go. Now, if you get a man coverage look, especially a cover two man where both of the safeties play back and there's no cornerback out here, you're just going to want to run it as is. You're not going to want to make any adjustments. Just take it wide. Like I said, Tyron Matthews is going to be probably the biggest issue but you can see this is especially deadly against people like to run man coverages so i would say cover three cover four zones you definitely want to flip it and run towards receivers any man coverage where there's no uh cornerback out here where there's no um you know defender outside of the tight ends it's going to be best to just run it as is quick hike it and like i said you'll typically get a one-on-one -on -one with a safety and if you get past that guy you're getting huge gains i mean i'm getting 10 to 15 pretty much every time with the stretch anyway but if you can make a guy miss you're gonna be getting even bigger gains so once you've done all that and you've established the run you're you're sucking your opponent down into the box trying to stop these run plays that's where you're going to hit them with a play like the pa wide drag wheel this is a big play and it's just about any defense in the game it's not the best pass play in this formation you got to hit the like Woo! button for that or check out my ebooks for that because the pa wide cross is a one play touchdown against every defense in the, in the game but i'm going to show you guys one pass play because once you bring your, your user defender down once they start defending these run plays you hit them with this pa wide drag wheel and it's going to completely uh rip them for big plays so we're going to go ahead we're going to continue to pick uh, random on defense 
defense. So now that your opponent is worried about those run plays, you're going to beat them with a big play over the top. All you're going to do is streak the, the RB route, put the A route on a pass block, and then put the X route on a drag. That's all you got to do. The drag and the B route here will beat just about every single defense in the game. That's why I picked random, because it really doesn't matter. Obviously, you're going to want to go for that big play. And there, I don't even think he got his feet in bounds. I mean, you obviously want to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field, or at least to the open side of the field to give yourself as much catch and run space as possible. Uh, but that's pretty much all you have to do. You have to put the B, the RB route on a, on a streak now because the A route has that stupid, funky, augmented version, which is much slower. So that second tight end is going to be the better, better option. But you can see, I mean, I don't really care what I'm looking at here. This route's going to get wide open for a big play. Against certain defenses, you get a catch and run out of that and be up the sideline and gone. He said, I don't care what the defense is. I don't have to be able to read a defense. I don't have to know what I'm looking at these plays here will have, you know, big play success every single time. They look like a cover three based off of the, the cornerbacks dropping. Those cornerbacks will react. They will react to the uh, to the streak. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what defense we're looking at here. So here we go. I got that B route. Like I said, this looks like it might be a cover two. I'm going to try to get a one play touchdown out of this because you can. The B route will typically be the play because your opponents will typically be suck, sucking in a lot of times. The B route will be well beyond their ability to cover. So the B route will be the play. A lot of times they'll just change their um, attention to the drag. Like here we have like a flat out, all out man blitz looks like. So this is going to be a scenario where, I mean, the B route's still there. I was actually trying to uh, say take the check down, take the X route, but he was in front of the X route. So you can see every single time one of these routes will be open. So I'll do it one more time. Like I said, I'll keep that. I like to keep that play action too because obviously that's going to pay dividends. And it looks like we might have our one play touchdown to end this video as we do get, looks like what a cover one man. And we get a very easy one play touchdown catch and run. Uh, which, you know, like I said, that's just something that's going to drive your opponent nuts. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see part two or a full breakdown of this offense, trust me, it's worth it. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.